uh, from Claire Witherspoon from Liberal Democrats, and it's partly about Labour policy towards a Scottish Parliament. Does the panel feel that women should be treated as inferior to men by enforcing the 50% rule in election to the Scottish Parliament? And this is whereby Labour policy says that there should be two MPs for every constituency, one woman and one man. Nicola Sturgeon. Well, first of all, I think we have to address the myth that um, positive discrimination is treating women as being inferior to men. Positive action programmes are designed to remedy past discrimination. They've got nothing to do with concepts of inferiority. Now, while it's not SNP policy to have a, a system of 50-50, I think there should certainly be an element of positive action in elections for future Scottish Parliament to address the, the gender imbalance. Well, let, let's just say that uh, you might not be in favour because you're not in favour of Scottish Parliament, but in an independent Scotland, would you go for that formula? Not necessarily that formula, but we would go for some system that would um, redress the, the gender imbalance which presently exists. I think it's very important for society as a whole that um, a future Scottish Parliament um, is represented by women in adequate proportion to their, their um, makeup in society. Which means you have more women than men. <laughs> well, um, possibly, yes. <laughs> Craig Harrow, you disagree with Labour on this and it's a fundamental principle of the Scottish Constitutional Convention. We don't see well, why it should be 50-50. We, we think that women should be fairly represented, of course, but if we have the single transferable vote system, then that will encourage people to vote for different people of the same party, unlike the additional list system. And it will encourage more women to stand if we also make the, the Scottish Constitutional Convention as it will be, uh, the Scottish Parliament as it will be, if we make that a better place for women to work, that will also encourage them to participate within politics. Paul McKinney. Well, I think um, women's participation in politics is essential. And I spent the last few years working in Westminster, and it's a very much poorer place because there are so few women MPs. The fact, the, 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 the fact, the, the fact, the fact that we are sat here tonight with four men in the panel and only one woman shows you that there is a need for positive discrimination, certainly in the Labour Party. I mean, because the Labour Party has been dominated for men for quite a while, and it, there are more women coming through. But I think we need to take actual positive steps. And if that means 50-50, well, well to be good, because that will change the nature of the river. But I mean, personally, do you believe 50-50 is the right road to Scottish Parliament? I think it's one, it's, one, it's one road amongst a number of other measures, including changing the whole nature of the Parliament, having proper work, work, working hours, proper arrangements for working mothers, and the whole ethos of the Parliament would, would, would be different, and that would make a big difference. Murdoch Fraser, how many women on the candidates list in Scotland? I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. I think that this proposal from the Scottish Constitutional Convention, which is really just a worthless talking shop, is as crazy as any of its other proposals that have come out with to suggest that it should be 50% women. It's patronising to women because it's saying to them that you can't get on uh, uh, under your own steam. No, we had a women prime happen. minister. We had a women prime minister for 12 <laughs> years. <laughs> right, you from the audience, the women in black at the edge of the seating. Yes. Okay, um, my name's Bolandi. I'm, I'm a women's officer for the National Union of Students. Um, I would like to say um, <laughs> that I don't think it does patronise women whatsoever. What does patronise women is when you give lip service to them with this Opportunity 2000, which in my mind is Opportunism 2000. What, we, what I would like to say is that men get elected because they're men. Um, women should be given the opportunity to get involved in politics in Britain. There's only 44 MPs out of 60, 650 which are women. Um, I don't know what the panel is scared of, by letting, um, encouraging women to get involved. Well, look, let's take a green mm. point of view now, Graham Farmer. Certainly, um, everybody wants to get involved. Well, I don't know if everybody does. Uh, most of us want to get more female representation. Um, 50, the 50 50 split may seem a bit crude. Uh, other possibilities are going for a 30% trigger or something. But um, really, if, if we are serious about wanting more females to be MPs, we can warble on and on about giving creches and reducing working hours, etc. All these things are important. But when it comes down to it, unless we give political parties a good kick up the arse and say, look, start getting X amount of female MPs in, maybe not 50, but at least 30%, then they'll start looking around at the female members and think, yeah, they're a bit as good as men, and let's give them a chance. Women on the left in the back row, yes. The only way society is going to change, at the moment the balance of power in society is towards men, and the only way that's going to change is if you have more women involved in Parliament and changing legislation, and the only way we're going to get more women in Parliament to change legislation is the positive action programmes, because in a society that's geared towards men, they're not going to elect women. Right, the man with the grey sweatshirt on. And a charade and an attempt to leave a party to buy votes, and yet here's one of the radical proposals that's coming up with, and it's a way to um, connect the imbalance that exists. 
within Westminster. But it's much wider than that. It's about the imbalance between society as a whole, about the fact that women are paid less wages, that women are not in the judiciary, that women are not executives of companies and things like that. And one of the ways to resolve that is to have women making the decisions that, that, that govern the society. Yeah, the women are the red check again at the front. Uh, there's one way to resolve the problem of the imbalance, and that is time. Because all that's happened is, until recently, it has been a lot of prejudice against women. It's starting to change now. And what we don't need is this artificial system of the That doesn't work. What we need to have is, um, and the reason it doesn't work is because with this, like the Labour Party's Ministry of Women, or in my local Conservative Association, like in Women's Committee, what that, what the inference in that is, is that the women can go away and take part in the Ministry of Women and the Women's Committee and so on, and everything else, all the important things are left to the men. What we need is women taking part on an equal footing, and the way we can do that is having women standing against men. But if you say that things are changing through time, then presumably you must be very disappointed that John Major didn't put a woman in his cabinet. Well, I think we had a woman prime minister for 12 years, and that's going quite a good way. Nicola Sturgeon. Can I just say that I think electoral systems address only part of the problem, and we have to uh, turn our attention to addressing the more fundamental problems, and many of them have already been mentioned. First of all, we have to address the economic imbalance of women within, within society. We have to ensure that creche facilities are provided in order that women can not only stand for parliament, but become, become more active in politics as a whole. We also have to change the working hours of the, the parliament, and that would happen in an independent Scotland. Instead of sitting up all through the night, which is quite impractical for most women who have children, um, the parliament would operate on a 95 basis, uh, along with other sensible institutions. Thank you very much indeed.